What is up you guys? Welcome back. Today I just sat down and got ready for my date night tonight. Ruben and I are going out to dinner and a movie and I thought that I would just film the process of me getting ready. I really wanted to do a very fresh, girly, springy, natural looking makeup look. Something a little bit more natural than what I did in my last like everyday makeup look. Something that looks like you just kind of threw on a little bit of lip and mascara but like you did a little bit more but it looks like you didn't. That's the vibe of this look and I'm really happy with how it turned out so we're just gonna hang out chit chat relax and I'm gonna show you how I got this look and also my outfit so yeah I hope you guys enjoy it please subscribe and let's just jump right in okay so I am starting this a little late so I need to make sure I'm on top of it and going quick so let me zoom in um okay I want to do a very natural look today Something quick and easy, effortless, minimal. I'm gonna start with primer. This is the Lawless Primer Serum. So I'm gonna apply this on the skin. The other day, uh, was it yesterday? I did the everyday, like an everyday makeup tutorial and it's already up if you haven't seen it yet, but my skin looked so good with how I did my makeup that day. By the end of the day, my makeup still looked really good. So I kind of just want to copy what I did in that video for my face today because um, it looked so good. And normally it looks crazy by the end of the day because I get so oily and it did not uh, do that. It like I had like a beautiful do. So um, I'm gonna go into the Laura Mercier foundation and I wonder if it had to do with like putting it on the back of my hand. Let me do that today too, even though it's gonna take a little bit more time to do that. So I put the foundation on the back of my hand. I'm working my brush into the foundation and then I'm gonna stipple it on my face. So tonight we're going to this new barbecue restaurant. So they actually had this restaurant um, over in Illinois back when we lived there and which isn't far by the way like illinois is like right over the border of indiana we live in that vicinity but there was this barbecue restaurant that we would always go to and we loved it well they just built one they just opened one out this way so we're gonna go check it out and then we're gonna go see a movie so <laughs> I, like my whole life, have never been into scary movies. I hate them. I mean, I still like, I don't know, I'm indifferent. I used to hate them because they would make me so scared. Um, but Ruben really loves scary movies and he's got me like, what's the word? Like they don't even phase me anymore. I don't really get that scared anymore. So we're gonna go see Evil Dead. Um, I think it's like Rises or something like that. I guess it's like a, not a series, but they have other movies in this realm or whatever. Um, so we're gonna go see that. The trailer looked really creepy. During 2020 and the years after now, I feel like I've gotten so used to movies that are in theaters coming out and then you can watch them on your TV for like $20. We've only done it a few times just because it, if you just wait long enough, it'll come onto like one of the apps like either Hulu, Amazon Prime, Netflix, something, and then you don't have to pay for it. But like if it's something that looks really good, then we will um, do like the theater at home or whatever. But there, like I just miss going to the movies and getting popcorn and doing that whole thing. So I'm really excited. We did go see Avatar 2 in theaters. That's the last movie we saw together. But before that, I cannot remember the last movie we saw. I think it probably was like one of the Hunger Games movies that came out like years ago. I've seen a movie, I've, I've seen other movies in theaters, but that's the last one that we've seen together. But yeah, you know, I just got so used to like doing the whole theater at home thing. And so it's nice to, it's nice to get ready to go like see a movie in theaters. I feel like my, my focus is weird. I'm going into the True Skin Concealer from Catrice. Um, but yeah, we did see the newer Avatar movie and it was fun to go because when the first Avatar came out, that's, I think we saw that like right around my birthday when we were dating back in, I don't know, whenever that came out. So we went and saw it and we ended 
ended up leaving. We were so bored. I'm waiting for that to come out on Disney Plus so we can watch it at home and give it a second chance. But I just feel like we were there for like over an hour and they were just constantly learning how to like swim in the water and it was really boring. And I feel like, yeah, you need some of that to like, you need some of them just like learning how to swim and stuff, but not as long as it was, it was really long. But I feel like that's kind of the consensus for that movie. You either love it or you hate it. But I, we both really loved the first one. This concealer, ooh, so good. I feel like it's very full coverage. It's matte, but it's not too matte to where it's like gonna dry out your skin either. It's wonderful. I'm gonna go into Bondi Bay from Nude Sticks. Get up on my brush, stipple that onto the skin. By the way, I have on these new pajamas from Old Navy. I haven't shopped at Old Navy since I was in middle school, but I was so pleasantly surprised. I loved so many things on their website. I'm gonna have to go in uh, in the store this weekend because there's a store right by where I do my step aerobics So I'm gonna have to hop in there and see more things in person These are the most comfortable pajamas that I ordered. They're so cute I'm trying to like I don't know make more of an effort with my pajama game because I literally go to sleep and not only go to sleep But when I'm at home, I look like Adam Sandler. I'm just in sweatpants like oversized baggy sweatpants and you know just comfort but I haven't found, or it's been difficult to find pajamas that look cute, but also you feel just as comfy as, you, as I do in like oversized Adam Sandler sweatpants until now. And these are so comfortable. They're just like lightweight, breathable. I run really hot, so especially when I sleep. So they've been perfect. I wanna get more colors, but they, they only have one other pattern that I kinda like. Um, but I'll just have to keep an eye out though because maybe they just come out with um, more colors, you know, for the season or something. Okay, for blush, I'm gonna go into the e.l.f. Putty Blush. This is one of my favorite products. e.l.f.'s cream putty products are the best. They also have um, bronzers. So the color that I have here is Turks and Caicos. It's a very light, pinky color. I think this will be, oh, it's kind of peachy too. I think this will be very beautiful on the cheeks for a fresh springy look. So I'm gonna pick this up on the brush and just pop this on my cheeks. Oop. What is that? There we go. I feel like this is a dupe for that Anastasia cream blush. It's a very similar color. Do it up on the forehead, nose, chin bring this all over okay and now i'm gonna set my face with powder this is the laura mercier translucent setting powder and i'm gonna use my sponge i wonder if that had something to do with it with everything just setting so nicely i just feel like my nose contour looked a little weird so i'll have to pay more attention to that i'm gonna bronze up the skin with my airbrush bronzer from charlotte tilbury I'm gonna bring this all over, get the cheeks, forehead, jawline, and then I'm gonna dab this all over so that I don't have too much brightness. I got into the eyes, it's a little bright. And then for highlighter, I'm gonna go into the Catrice highlighter in Beyond Golden Glow and apply this to my cheekbones. Going in a little bit more of a broad area, kind of getting it on the apples of the cheeks too. And then with my finger, I'm gonna pop this on the center of the nose and my cupid's bow. And then when I go in with my brush, it'll just diffuse it so that it's not so harsh. And then you can always go back in with that beauty blender and just Kind of dab that in the skin. Just spray my face. I just used the Morphe setting spray. Going in with the Anastasia Brow Wax. And I'm gonna push up the wax into my brows. Just like this. Ooh, that's a lot of wax. Ooh. 
I'm gonna go into the Lawless uh, Shape Up Soft Fill Brow Pencil. I have the color Oak. This is what this pencil looks like. I've been really liking this. And then I also have the color uh, Teddy Bear in case I need a little bit of darkness to shade through. So I'm gonna pop this in the brow. Gonna go into the boy brow from Glossier in brown. Run that through the brows. Okay, and then I'm gonna prime with the Painterly Pink Pot from MAC. Just put this all over my lids. And then lightly set that with a little bit of powder. So for my eyeshadow today, I really wanna use this Patrick Ta um, major dimension eyeshadow palette. I love this palette. It's so beautiful. Looks like this on the inside. Gorgeous. And I don't know what I want to do for the look. Do I want to do something more wash? I, I kind of want to just do something quick and effortless, minimal, that whole thing. I'm going to take this color right here and bring that in the crease. Connect it to the nose contour. I'm also going to bring this down underneath. And then, if I remember correctly, this is like a gorgeous shade. This matte looking, it's not matte though. It, it looks matte, but it has like a, just a little bit of sparkle reflect to it. So I'm going to bring that all over the lid. It's so beautiful. Bring that underneath. I kind of just love that as is. Um, let me do a little bit underneath here. Just like a super quick wash of color. I love that. I forgot how much I love this palette and specifically that shade. If you want much, another tutorial with this, I can do one because I'm just doing something really simple and quick today, but... Yeah, I want to keep using this. I want to use this again and do something a little bit more in depth when I have a little bit more time. Um, let's do, I'm going to bring this color here on my brow bone. Ooh, I have my brightness on my camera on auto. I usually have it on a specific setting, but I thought I would try that out. And today's the first day where the lighting has really changed while I'm filming. So it went from really bright and sunny to like now the sun's going down and the brightness definitely changed on the camera. So hopefully it looks good. I'm kind of just playing around with it, trying to keep it simple, but professional. I was filming with my vlog camera for a little bit there because I liked the simplicity of it, but I figured out a way to use my fancy camera and make it a little bit more simple. Part of it is bringing the tripod a little closer to me. I have it up on my table now. So yeah, cause I just didn't like, didn't like the way that the vlog camera looked for like tutorials and these types of videos. So like that, I'm gonna add a little bit of the highlighter from Catrice that we used and pop that here as well. Add a little shimmer. I'm gonna go into the Lash Paradise Mascara from L'Oreal and I don't wanna do any lashes today. I just want to do mascara so I'm gonna spend some time on this and just really build this up I'm gonna do at least two coats but potentially three coats get the bottom lashes mascara is on it's a little chunky I think because I had a little bit of residue left over from my mascara yesterday so it like really got thick um but now for my lips i kind of want to do something a little bit different or just use a, some different products i really want to do kind of like a pinky corally color i'm gonna use the edge to edge lip liner from mac i used to use this all the time it's and it's just been a minute so i'm gonna sharpen this and line and overline my lips very pretty i'm wanting a little bit more coral in here so i think this might work i'm gonna go into fanfare from mac 
I used to wear this all the time. Let's see. Applying cool brown from Anastasia. Um, I just thought of the mask when he goes, somebody stop me. Somebody stop me. I think that's it. Did I get ready on time? I got ready with six minutes to spare. Who am I? I'm very happy with how this turned out. I was looking for something that was just very like fresh, springy, feminine, just like the baby pinks and the peaches. I might even add a little bit more blush before I go, but this is the look up close. So you can see what it looks like. Hmm, I love this. So I'm probably gonna be running out the door. I still have to go get dressed. So I'll put what I'm wearing on the screen right here so you can see it. I'll link all of the items down below in the description box along with everything else that I use in this video in case you're curious. But that's it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I had fun just hanging out and getting ready really quick. If you recreate this look or get inspired from it, please tag me in your look on Instagram. I'd love to see what you come up with. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.